praise the choir for those wonderful selections. Amen. 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 Did y'all enjoy that? Amen. Amen. All right. And I am Minister Laverne Phillips Andrews, coming to you live from Rose Hill Missionary Baptist Church in Seattle, Washington, where our pastor is the Reverend Dr. Shelby L. Tate Sr. and our First Lady who we're honoring today is Mother Doris Tate. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand. For you. All right. You know I will not be before you very long. Amen. <laughs> Just in case y'all can't see, that was the pastor singing that. <laughs> Amen. Those of you that can and that will, uh, please turn to John, the 11th chapter, 17 to the 23rd verse. John, the 11th chapter, 17 to the 23rd verse. All of our Bible scholars already know what that's about. Man, I heard our pastor even preach on this lots of times. In the over 20 years that I've been here, amen? Amen. Amen. To us. John the 11th chapter, 17 to the 23rd verse. Also, want to mention that I'm happy to have my daughter, Sister Chancellor Jackson, visiting with me today. Amen. 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 She's a member of Grace Temple, where you know who came out of here, Reverend James Sears. Amen. Apostle amen. James Sears. Now, amen. All right. So amen. we thank God for her. All right, we're going to go on and read the uh, scripture. John, the 11th chapter, 17th to the 23rd verse. This says here, So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb for four days. He's talking about Lazarus. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away. And many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, soon, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God will give you. God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank God for the word. Yeah. You may be seated. Later on, I will be going to, just in case you want to go at the very end, I'll be going to Ephesians, the third chapter, the 20th to the 21st. Just those two verses, Ephesians 3 and 21, just in case you would like to turn to that. I want you to focus on two words here in verse 22. You look on verse 22. Focus on those just for a few moments. The two words that we're going to be focused on today in the Bible that says, even now. Even now. Amen? Amen. Amen. Even now, you see Lazarus was dead and gone. He had been in the tomb for four days. But Martha, in verse 22, had the faith to say to Jesus, Even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. She knew that even though there was death around her, Jesus Christ brings resurrection, even now. This woman knew that even though her family was in mourning, that spelling is M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, her family was broken. She had the faith to say, even now, God can bring life, even now. When it looks to be over, Lord, you can bring life. I admire this type of faith because it's a faith that says, regardless of how bad it is, Jesus Christ can still work miracles, even now. 
Yeah. It's a faith that says my family is broken. We're arguing. We're fighting. We're full of bitterness. But even now, Jesus, you can walk in and bring healing. You can bring restoration in this household. This is the type of faith that says, Lord Jesus, I'm unemployed. I'm in pain. I've been abandoned. But you can still work a miracle in my life. Yeah. Even now. Yeah. I want to encourage you for the next few moments. I want you to know that we have a God that shows his might. When we think there is no more hope, we have a God who will begin to do this, his best work, excuse me, his best work right now at your breaking point. We have a God who will begin to make the impossible possible. Yeah. I got that from our pastor. Oh. Right. He, will make, he will make the impossible possible just when you think something will never happen. Yeah. We have a God who will lift you up when you think you can't get up anymore. Mm. And so here's what I want you to believe. I want you to believe the word of God that says in Ephesians 3 and 20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ. Jesus, throughout all ages, the world without end. Amen. And as I close, even now, God stays good. I am just thankful and blessed that God has, has anointed me to be able to speak his word because even now, God is continuing to bless. God is seeing us through these times. And as you listen to the news, they, they're trying to cut out all the different uh, resources for financial. But you know what? Even now, God is still working out. They may not come up with a plan, but you know what? Even now, God is going to come up with a plan. So whether they come up with a plan or not, even now, He's going to still have a plan for us. Amen. So I thank God for allowing us the opportunity to be here. Thank our pastor, Pastor Taylor, for allowing me to be able to speak. To his people, because he don't have to do that, but he is so wonderful and sweet and kind that he does anyway, right? So I am thankful for that. For that, I always have to make sure I bring it up. Now, I don't want to forget my first lady. I know she's listening in, and she will be listening and see this. And we just want to say, give her a, a shout out and say, continue to have a happy birthday. Because if she's like me, sounds like she celebrates the whole month of May. <laughs> so from what I've seen online, Sherry made her a big old pound cake and made her, I think, a pie, too. So I'm like, okay, that's really nice. I, I like that. I'll be glad when we get back to those times we can enjoy uh, food yes. with each other. Amen. So we just want her to know that we love her and that we miss her. And we're continuing praying, praying for her that God will open up a way to uh, make it possible for her to be with us again. Amen. Amen. So thank you all for listening. And that's the end of my uh, sermon for today. And I.